morning, everybody, and welcome to Best Cam. Well, we finally made it after that big, big snowstorm, and believe it or not, summer's here. 85 today, probably tomorrow 90, but here's what the most important part is. We have nine beaches in Beverly, which a lot of people don't know about. I mean, they didn't think, they think about it. And we have a beautiful lighthouse on Bayview Avenue. It's almost as old as the lighthouse they've been promoting on Baker's Island. And I understand that the island people are now having tours on Baker's Island for the uh, lighthouse. But other than that, summer's here. We're walking around with our bathing suits, going to the beach. And I'm going to concentrate on beaches for a few weeks. And I hope you enjoy my coming beaches. But first of all, I have to do the whole seven beaches in Beverly because when I show a painting of a beach, I like the people say, well, I've been to Crane's Beach. I've been to Beverly Beach. And this, uh, this is very rewarding. They like to put up a painting in the house that they know where it is. It's only common sense, you know. You're not going to be looking something that you spend a lot of money on and you can't enjoy it. So let's get started on that. But first of all, I have a lot of other paintings that I've done within a couple of weeks of different beaches in Beverly. And uh, I guess later on they'll get some kind of a system here, a program that can, they can show you. But let me get started on this beach scene here in Beverly. Well, first of all, you know, the first thing we do is we put the horizontal line right straight across the canvas or the board, whatever you use. Remember I told you years ago I was going downhill all the time and I thought that was wonderful, but no, my instructor said, Donald, you do beautiful work, but you're a little crooked. Well, anyway, other than that, people have been wonderful with me. Best cam cameramen are great, and I, wanna, I want them to know that I appreciate their work. So let's get started. We'll put a little, we'll put some clouds in here, I think. You know, sometimes we have a cloudy day. Okay, here's what we do, is touch into the water. Now make sure that you don't saturate the brush just a little bit and touch this and just give it a little shake right here, watch it. Now see that little there? Yeah, see how that, that, that brought out that, you know, there are cloudy days even though it's 90 degrees. And uh, let's put another one right here for you. Okay, all right. I think that's enough clouds just to break the, Excuse me, just to break the plainness of the sky. The sky is really beautiful. Someday you can just do a painting on the sky. All right, now we're going to have a little water. So let me get some blue here. Yeah, let me see. I've, I've been painting all morning at home before I got here. And I got little, the box is all a little upside down. But that's all right. You know my, what I have to do. Okay, I'll break this here. That, that break that little bond. That, okay, there it is. Now we'll put a little blue on here. Yeah, all right now we get the blue and white, it makes it a little lighter blue. So let's let's put the water in here some more, okay? Yeah, yeah, look at that pretty. There it is. All right, don't be afraid to just carry it along the line, just go over the pencil mark, and you're going to see how it makes a big difference. So, I've had students that panic when they see something, and I tell them, I said, look, you're only here to enjoy painting, not to have a nervous breakdown over it, you know? But maybe some of the women get too excited. But I said, take it out on your husband. Don't take it out on me. <laughs> and you love it. People are wonderful. Okay, let's put a little ways in there, okay? Whoop. It's sad to say we put some sand in there, too, somehow. But, you know, that worked for the better. That works for... Sometimes a mistake like that has helped you out better on my vision to look at it. Geez, that's good. If I planned that, it would never look that good. But anyway, I'm going to leave that sand there and bring some more waves across here. See that? This is all done very, very easy. Just a touch of the brush and pull it along that knife. You know what I mean? You've got to be gentle when you're painting, not just in life. Okay, now, now that I... Got some sand there. I'm going to show you how 
my imagination. You, like these cameramen here, <laughs> they could imagine taking me. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. But in what imagination they must have. But let me show you what, what I do. Now, with my little imagination, even though by, I didn't want this sand here, I'm going to say I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm going to put the sand here. I'm going to put some sand right in, in between the water, right out like that. All right, and then a little bit more down into here. Yeah, see that soft sand color? All right, now put some here. Yeah, follow that right through. Okay, now you know what I'm going to do? I think I'll bring it all the way down. You know why? Because I'm going to have people on the beach here. There's going to be umbrellas here. There's going to be, yeah, follow that like that. Now, now that I got an idea where that's going to be, I'm going to get another brush and I'm going to get the blue back here where it belongs. Don't be afraid. Now just put the blue in there. Watch it. Blue and white. There it goes. Now, see, I looked at that and I said, oh, man, that's a little too light. I got to put a little heavier right there. There it comes. You know, some artists just don't even talk about their artwork. They just paint it, and they hope somebody looks at it, wants to buy it. I don't can't I can't believe that, but uh, I I think if you if you handle your paint with a little feeling and let people realize that it takes time to bring in these colors, you just my mind is moving all the time, you know, and I don't mind it because, uh, sad to say, I saw a friend of mine's in a nursing home the other day, and you can't, can't believe a few years ago he was he had a brilliant mind. But let's not get depressed, and let's not let's concentrate on on life, and just enjoy every every day you can with with all your loved ones because you know you can't live any you can't live any longer than a hundred so don't worry about it if you're if you're happy stay happy if you okay you don't know what to do now I think I'll put a little sand a little sand island over here I'll put a little sand over here right in here I'm going to carry some sand right on my, there, right there, on my left hand side, there. All right, now, the sand's in there. Now what I got to say, okay, where's the brown? All right, let me, here we go. Here's the brown. Boy, I told Walter, I don't care, I'm going to have him. I'm going to put in a building, leave the paints here. I'm not running home to forget my paints. Walt, I like to tease Walter. Even though he's my boss. There, see how I brought that little dark, little darker blue and, I mean, the brown to, to bring out the sand? Yeah, hey, just work it in easy. Okay. Now, another sand dune over here. You know, you walk out in the sand. Sometimes the, the beach is not just straight uh, sand. It has little islands and little different effects of the sand. So don't be afraid to put it in, in your painting. Okay, that looks nice. All right, I'll let that go, Nino. I'll let it go a little dark right here for the water. Okay. Okay. All right. Now some white goes underneath it just for a little, a little water coming in. You know, against you know white water, a little water against the sand. Yeah. All right. That looks. I think it, look, it looks very good for for the beach scene, and. Uh, now, here's what we're going to do now. What we're going to do now, we're going to put in the sand right here. All this is going to be sand now. All this is going to be the sand. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to put people in here, going umbrellas in here, beach chairs, and everybody's going to have a great time at the getting to the water. We have uh, we have Dane Street Beach in Beverly. We have Lynch Park in Beverly. We have Pleasant uh, Gold Hill has a beach. Newbury Street has a beach. Ralph Side has a beach. We're surrounded with water, and people don't realize that mostly every district in Beverly has a beach. Even Beverly Farms. But the only trouble about Beverly Farms, <laughs> they want to be private. So let them live in their own world. It's it's. Uh, so imagine a town like Beverly with only forty thousand people. They can go to any beach you want. You go to Gloucester, you can't even get into Gloucester. You see in the paper the other day, they had a traffic jam there down in uh, Good Harbor, I think it is. So people here in Beverly ought to be very grateful. And uh, I've, I met a couple of people from Germany at Lynch Park the other day. And I said, what do you, how do you like the park? She said, Mr. Lombardi, believe it or not, we don't have any beaches in Germany. And when we come to visit the new uh, United States, we like to go to uh, Miami Beach, Miami Beach, Florida. And, and I say, why there? Because you have all sand, no rocks. Now, I've been to Paris. I've been to Monte Carlo. I've been to Italy. And believe it or not, he's right. All the beaches there have, you would have to put sandals on to walk to the water because they all have these pebbles, you know. It's very, it's not a beach like uh, Winger Shear, like two miles of sand and lay down in the blankets. You can't even put a, it's not very comfortable even if you put a towel. Uh, you have to buy a, a mat, the, you know, a one inch rubber mat. So don't, and besides, another thing besides, <laughs> Alice had a one-piece bathing suit in Monte Carlo. I'll never forget it. We went to the beach, and we're looking at the beach, and beach dress is a little different than the United States. So this gentleman said to me, oh, you're from Boston, aren't you? I says, well, you, how did you know? She said, not just for your, my, my voice. He says, no, he says, I can tell you by your, <laughs> your bathing suit. You have trunks on. We, we, don't, uh, we don't have a trunk. And by the way, your wife should have a bikini. And she had a, you know, one piece. And I says, Alice, it's a little different in this part of the country. But it happens today. And then they, they even get worse now. Uh, you, you, you got some parts of the beach, even in the Caribbean, that don't even wear bathing suits anymore. We've been there, but we didn't, we didn't cross the line. There's a limit. There's a beach probably a mile long, and half the beaches, no bathing suits allowed. <laughs> but uh, we, we laughed about it. We didn't go in that sec. We didn't go in that section. Um, it's uh, beaching is completely different than Europe. Europe is not very. They like women, and they like the. They like the bikinis, no matter what shape and what size. Okay, I think we get enough sand here. We'll take care of it. We'll trim that up. But traveling's wonderful. And mainly in the summertime, it's great because the winter you can't even get into Boston. That's why I don't like to go in the wintertime. Okay, now let me see now. Oh, umbrellas. Okay, now here's where we go. I gotta take my pencil. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the, oh, wait a minute. You know my old trick? I gotta get the hairdryer. Okay. Let me do the name of the hairdryer I have. Just listen. It says, here we go. Would, the sand is too wet. So I gotta dry it up. There it goes. Feel that? Real nice and warm. After I do this painting, and believe it or not, I wish people would call me up 
and uh, come down the house and pick up the painting that they see on TV. There's a lot of these uh, paintings I do here on local TV, I give away free. And my phone number is 978-927-1251. So call up and come and get your painting anytime you want. And by the way, speaking of vacations, a lot of people I've been doing in the last week, the summertime, mainly in New Hampshire, Boston, Rhode Island, all over, have sent me postcards of some of the beautiful scenes that they've done on their scene on postcards where they're staying. So I accept postcards and uh, I'll mail them to you. I'll do the postcard and uh, you come and look at it. And if you like it, it belongs to you. So postcards are, to me are beautiful because now I know, instead of me showing them <laughs> 50 paintings, what they might like, I know they like that postcard. Like I did one of my neighbor from uh, Jamaica. He was down there for a couple of days. And once you got home, I knocked on the door and I said, this belongs to you. And she says, boy, that, I'll never forget it because I don't even know what happened to the postcard that I had. Now I have it forever. So that gave me the idea at least the postcard can stay in their home. Pass it down. Who knows? The Nino painting might be worth some money today. But right now, I don't need the money. I just want to give you a gift. And the gift that I give you comes from my heart. And it, and it makes me happy. So please contact me anytime when, on any art problem or any time you would like to see my artwork at the gallery. It's all free. I'm not asking for any money. Okay. All right, that's good. Now I can touch your watch. See? It's beautiful. All right, now i got to go back to the umbrella. Uh, here's one right here. Put the line down straight. Whoops. Wait a minute. I put... Uh, uh, Sometimes umbrellas have a little bent to them. You know, they, the wind blows them over. I'll put it on an angle. Okay, let me see. Here. There it is. That's stays the thing. All right. Now, now, this is the tricky part. Now you gotta, you make gotta make the shape of the umbrella. Look. You see that? Well, look at that. Okay. Now, what can you do? Mm, looks to me, it looks like I have to make it a little heavier. I mean, bigger, you know. All right, I'll, try, I'll play with it. That's it, that's it. Okay, now, you must see red umbrellas at the beach. Believe me, there's more red on the beach than any other color, even in bathing suits and shirts. Red is a big color for summertime, I guess. Well, let me put some red here. All right, now we'll go to my little block, no, the little, my little paints here. Find the brush that I like. This is the hardest part. Finding that brush that I always like. Hmm, this one would be all right, I think. Let me try it. Okay, I'll put this aside. That might be one I might like. I gotta get, you know, you have to have the feel for the brush. You just can't just pick out of the, the collection. Ready, go right now. Go watch easy. Follow the pencil mark. There. Here is another one. Yeah. All right, now wiggle it in, figure it in there. If you make a mistake, I'll show you how to get out of it. You gotta be relaxed. I mean, you wanna be relaxed when you paint. I want you to be relaxed and happy. I don't want you to have a nervous breakdown. You know? <laughs> I was going talking to my daughter the other day, and he has my paintings in his office. And I did a golf course that he, well, I was very, I wasn't surprised. I thought it was gonna be a local golf course. Oh no, these doctors, they don't go local. He had to go to Scotland. Okay. You know, but anyways, it was a completely different uh, course than the United States. 
they have a lot of hills and you can't even see the thing. Okay, that's the red one. Now, it looks a little too plain for me, so I'm going to put a little tassel hang. You know, a little sometimes a little thing hangs down. There they go. There, there they go. See them? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. Now, here's a tricky part. The tricky part is now I got to get the brown. Come on, where, the, where are you? Well, well, let me see now. Let me get a tan, a little tan. Yeah, yeah. Little tan. Now, now that I got the pencil, here's what we gotta do. We're gonna follow this right straight down. Oh wait a minute! I had red paint on it. I don't want to get red on it. You gotta keep the brush. You gotta keep the brushes clean. I, that's the biggest secret, you know. Because sometimes a little red might be on it. It upsets the color. Here we go. Here. All right. It's coming down straight. See the post that's there? Okay. Okay, now I'll go back to my pencil, and naturally there's going to be somebody sitting here. I'm going to have to build, I'm going to have to make a little chair. Uh, in order to draw the chair, let me see now, the head. The head should be probably, oh, halfway down the, down the main stem of the umbrella. I'll put a little circle here. There it goes. All right, now, let me see. No, I don't like that circle there. Got to, so it's going to change it. Thank God they got races. Okay, let's lower it. There's a little bit better. All right. All right, now she's going to be in a chair. There's the back of it. Yeah. And she's going to be in here with the legs up, and she's coming down like that. You know how they bend down? Okay, now she's scooping down here. All right, that's gonna, and then now underneath the chair, they're gonna have an, uh, a beach blanket or a towel. Okay, all right, now, I'm gonna work on the chair now. Let's get the chair going. Here it is. Here it is, here's the chair. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now there might be a chair for her friend on the other side. Well, back to the pencil. You gotta. There it is. Well, this one be look. He'd be looking at the water. You know how they have these square chairs that come out like this? With the back here and the back here. Yeah. Okay, now his head's going to be up here. And his body is going to be on here. He's going to come down. And he's going to be just waving at somebody out there. Okay. And she's going to have her arms down here. All right. Now, they're both comfortable. At the beach. Now, what I gotta do now is I gotta find it. Mm. Whoops! Boy, I wish I invented a box you could find your paints. And I got the natural color for the face. Okay. I'm going to come up with a, a box and a set. Okay, now this is the natural color. It's natural. And I'm going to put her face in. Just put the face in. You know, around. Oh, here it goes. Right there. Here she is. All right. Now, right. now she's got a little neck. So we'll put a little neck on there for you. Okay, and now she got an arm hanging out, you know, hang, laying over the the chair. Now here, this guy here, he's over here too. I got to put. He's got all right. You let that dry up a little bit, and it'll be all right. 
Now, I would say, got a red umbrella. Probably she has a red bathing suit. Let's put the bathing suit on her. Yeah. Come on, put it like that. Yeah. And that's it, honey. Okay. Yeah. See that? All right. Now, she has to put her legs in there. Little legs in. You know, put a I'll put the legs in natural now, but naturally on the beach, they're going to be a little tan. I'll show you how we'll put a little tan on the beach, okay? Tan on it. All right, we'll just, well, the bases today are pretty slim, so I got to, I got to make sure that she's got it all over her body. All right, now her friend's over here, so I got to, I got to, I got to put a, you know, see what happened. See what happens there? All right, put a little natural ne little neck there. Yeah, I'll put the whole body. Probably got a white T-shirt on, right? With black pants, I'm assuming. But anyways, let's use a mag Let's say he's waving to somebody. There he is. There's his hand. And here's another hand. He's out there. All right, now she's got a little toe. Put a toe there, that one there. And he's going to have his feet down here somewhere. There he is. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to put his little chair in there for him. See? Okay. Now, I think I'll put a white, I think I'll put a white blanket on the, on the bottom. Here's the blanket. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we'll put a little red streak in the blanket because that's got to be part of the thing. All right, he might have a, he might have a little, he might have a little beer here. Let me see. Whoops. He's, he's, come on. Tap it up here. Oh, that's enough. All right. Uh, this guy here might have a little beer can right here. Right? Mm -hmm. And probably a big long box or something, you know, for the put the sandwiches in. Okay. Now, might have a, might be a Budweiser probably. Yeah. And a little, okay. Okay. That's right. All right, now, I'm letting the face dry and the hair dry. But now, all of a sudden, there's another person that comes along and puts up an umbrella over here. Say, hey, oh my God, he said, what? Now I thought I'd have a nice quiet day at the beach. Now I got company. Well, hey, you ever, you ever realize how many people visit beaches? Can't even get a parking lot, a parking space. All right, this guy here. All right, we'll, we'll give him an umbrella too. Okay, now the, we'll do the, I'm doing this because, yeah. Oh, this has to have a little top right here. I'll paint in after. There it goes, and there's a top here. Now, this guy, let's see what happens. Now you're gonna to have to get you have to get the center of that arch. So let me go slowly down here. Slowly. There, gee. I have to have that uh where the devil did I put that on? Right. Now ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you for the time that you're enjoying what I'm doing and and I hope it helps you out for the summer. Summer's a good time to paint because it's free. The, water, the weather's good. You can go out in the yard and paint, and you, uh, you're going to enjoy it. And please, if there's anything that you need, uh, you would like to look at my work, just contact me by just taking a bicycle ride or a, a joy ride to a Three Lawn Bank Road in Beverly. And uh, I'm signing off now. Thank you very much, and have a great day.